Hello, everyone. We're back with more Coochie game. I mean, carry on. It's kind of like a big toothy Coochie. You think? Hey, Bell. Is it enough? Oh, that was a juicy sound. Oh, my uh, tendrils are pretty big. I'll go this way first. But Jaden, oh god, I know what that is. I should not have said anything. There's an X on that door. Have I been down here before? Yes, because that thing is open already. So we go down this way. We go that way. Hmm. All right, so let's go down here. And see if there's anything else we can do now. Here we go. Armored Warfare Facility. I do not like the sound of this place. Danger. No trespassing. Possible unexploded military munitions. Holy shit. Meat. Hey, Jay. Hey, lizard man. Meat, or as whiskey calls it, schmeat. Oh, well, that is just instant death. Okay, there's a door there. I guess I should just go through the door. This doesn't look like the other option is going to work.
Save here again. Just in case I spontaneously combust again. Oh, excuse me, sorry, just ate before stream. on some people here. Alright, so that can break wood. Oh, I can break glass? Oh my god, he got sent flying. God, I'm all the way back here. The game has suddenly gotten a lot harder. Can you fucking target the end the thing I'm trying to grab, please? to the store. Okay, good. That turret shut down now.
Looks like that's my exit. Alright, whatever I'm getting is uh, meant for those pathways. I can show my biomass here. I don't think I need to do that at the moment. Can't do anything with that. Can't do anything with that. So they go this way. Oh, good. Oh god, this one has six locks. Listen, man, what is the nut for? I would say thank you for the nut, but given what game I'm uh, playing, I'm very concerned about your usage of that. Drop two shits right here. Bloop. Bloop. I can do that, and I should be able to claim the biomass now. Oh, it locks me. Alright, I'm stuck with a one layer, or one level. The Drago, welcome on in. Nice to see you. Are you for a remake is on sale on Steam? Oh, unfortunately, I cannot drop money on games at the moment. What's the sale price, though? I am curious. Well, I might be able to get it. If it sounded like 20 bucks, I think I might be able to get it. If it's down to 30, that's... I don't think so. Remember for me right now, money's a bit tight at the moment. 40, okay. Yeah, that's a little more than I can drop at the moment. I'm just gonna eat you. You can't be eating you. Eat you. Eat you. Who needs they meet us? He ate. I think that's the worst thing I've ever said. Somebody wait yourself. Yeah, like I'll get it eventually. I do want to play through it and I do want to stream it. 
Uh, from what I have seen... Oh, thank you for the follow, Nick. I, uh, didn't see that. So I, I don't think I heard the, uh, pop-up. Did Nick's, uh, follow notification go off for anyone else? Hmm, that one's blocked. Thought says they didn't see it. Didn't. Uh, give me one sec here. Stream Elements isn't down again, is it? Can you make me fucking log in again and reauthorize everything? Suck here. You're great. great. Hmm. Oh, well, it's working now. All right. Hopefully, it continues to work. Also, that was kind of loud. Yeah, I, I think I may have had to reauthorize uh, stream elements again. Fuck, the thing keeps breaking. But it's not a real Twitch stream without stream elements shitting itself. So. Hey, uh, dude up top, can you come a little more to the right, please? Shoot me. Are these people already dead? <laughs> I like the corpse just falling in. No on. No, not that. Remember, you gotta tenderize the meat before you dig in. That's how it works, right? Just, uh... Is it, uh, coming back?
Oh, spread the biomass. Remember, kids, eat ass, smoke grass, and spread biomass. We're good. Danger, no trespassing, possible unexplo- Oh, it's the same message from earlier. Alright, that should allow us to stop into those. And all of these. Then. Let me just swoosh right in. Keratosis. Grow a thick and strong layer of keratin requires energy to use. Okay. See. I didn't actually mean to go this way, but that was a convenient excuse to save. Buddy, you didn't say anything. Listen, y'all are just making me want to eat your friends. Exit butthole open. Nope, we got one more. One more lock.
Uh oh. Oh, it's a good thing I saved. there but I'm gonna wait on that until I know where what I need I know what I need First, I'm gonna drop one nut sack. Go up in this way. I'm gonna ram this. Take care of all those guys. I can probably hit it a little better from over here. Can't go any faster than this, though, so it's a bit of a trick. Drop one more nut sack. Jesus, the noise that those guns make sounds like a fucking eight. I don't know what the fuck that is, you know? Uh, dudes, I need biomass. <laughs> Kinda badly. Yep, I'm dead. A plane... A plane made around a gun. Jesus Christ. Oh, God damn it. We're all the way back here. Oh, the shit again. Okay.
A-10 is a plane. It's essentially just a minigun with wings. The minigun being the GAU-8. It fires depleted uranium rounds. Jesus. Is basically sitting on the fucking gun. It's a titanium bathtub, nonetheless. Yeah, I don't know anything about like planes or guns or stuff. I'm not really bad with those. Let's This time I'm gonna do the smart thing and go back and save before I continue. I play War Thunder sometime. It's free. I have no, literally no interest in War Thunder personally. No interest in War Thunder. No interest in World of Tanks. I don't. I don't, I don't really play games like that. Of course, this does uh, refill my biomass. Mostly. another dead dude around here. Here we go. Oh, I guess I already got him. Gotta eat your buddies here. So, uh, infecting the person does actually instantly kill them. Oh god. Alright, don't rush into a room. Got it.
There we go. That's how we get in. been over here before? Yeah, it's just the butthole from earlier. Nope, time to enter another butthole. You know, there's a band called the Butthole Surfers. I've only heard one song from them. It's called Pepper. It's actually a really good song. At one point, the Butthole Surfers were known as the band named The Unalienable Right to Eat Ed Asner's Ass. I am not joking, that is what the band was named at one point. The Unalienable Right to Eat Ed Asner's Ass. Keep in mind, this is an 80s band. Oh wow, this is right out in the open, huh? They're a noise band. I only found out about this band because uh, people were asking if a band's name was literal what band would you not want to go to a concert for? And literally everyone was saying the Butthole Surfers. So, you all are welcome. You are now cursed with knowledge, just like I am. I don't know what that just did. So the best thing about watching my streams is you learn stuff against your will. to them when you were aware of their existence. Yeah, I've only listened to their song Pepper. It's it's one of my favorite songs. I desperately need to find a save room.
back to my biomass. So that I did. Alright, so I didn't even need to really shed my biomass. Okay, oh, I'm in big end again. Oh, whatever. I'll just go the other way. I think I need to shed my biomass. But how am I supposed to get through down there? Guys, if I take one fucking hit, I'm dead. Call that elevator up. How the hell am I going to do that? Is there another person over here? I can do this the whole time. I can't get him over there. Oh my god, I'm fucking stupid. I know what I need to do. See? I can figure. Some things out. There we go, now the elevator moves. Oh, okay, I see. So I go, go down, down, thank you. And I go through here, and pull this out. Retrieve my biomass. This is another six locked door. I cannot retrieve my biomass.
I'm good. Come here, guys. Go make a fine dinner. Grow a second prehensile tentacle. down here to save. Oh, now I can retrieve my biomass. Alright, I was like just walking a lot. Here, this way, that's how you yeah. All right, this is opening up a bunch of pathways. It's all jet. Okay. So now we don't need to go over there anymore. We can go up this way. To Ooh, yawn. I'm very tired. No, it's almost feels final area-ish. I'm just in a perpetual case of the EP. Any of you ever feel like that? A perpetual case, case of sleepy bitch syndrome? <laughs> that don't look right. It's a bit of a compromising position to die in.
There we go. No, no one here has case the EP. Am I just too EP? Is that just my problem? I am alone on this barren earth. Oh, can I grab two things at once, though? Get coffee. I could have coffee. I don't usually have a regular coffee this late at night. I usually go for decaf. Yeah, um... This almost feels like the final area of the game. But is this the final area? No, I'm not gonna look it up. Oh. If anyone happens to know if the bunker is the final area of carrying, uh, feel free to just tell me. But I'm not gonna look it up. Not right now. now. I could get coffee, but I have to wait until I finish my other drink, because I have a tang with me. In, moment. In my water bottle. No idea. This is a very good game and very much worth playing. Um, if you're a fan of The Thing, it's basically where you get to play as The Thing. There is actually a game based on The Thing. Oh, shit. Among Us. Yeah, pretty much. There is actually a game based on the thing. There was a PS2 and I think Xbox game called um, The Thing. So, the funny thing about... Yeah, we do have it on PS2. But the funny thing about this specific movie franchise is The Thing. The whole story is based on a short story that... At the moment, I'm forgetting the name of. I believe it's called something like... I don't blame it. It's on the tip of my tongue. What the fuck is it called? Uh... Do you... The Thing from Another World? Is that what it's called? I thought, I thought the short story it was based on was called something else. Yeah, uh, the thing from another world is... I don't think that's the thing. Yeah, who goes there? That's it. That's the name of the story. Uh, that got turned into a movie from the... 50s? I think? Called... The Thing. That might actually be The Thing from Another World. Yeah, that was the first adaptation. Nobody gives a shit about that one. There was also an unauthorized adaptation that took place on a train. If I remember correctly. Which is, it's a really weird movie because it's very much the thing. And it's based on it, but they didn't actually get the rights. So, it's very different. I have never seen it, but my dad has said that it's a very interesting film. Then we got the John Carpenter's thing, which I think came out in the 70s, possibly the 80s, I forget which. Which is the one we're all familiar with. So that's The Thing from Another World, and then John Carpenter's The Thing, or just The Thing. The Thing got a PS2 and Xbox prequel titled The Thing. Not prequel, sequel. It's a sequel. It takes place after the events of the film, where a team goes in to figure out what happened. It's actually supposed to be a really good horror game, too. Um, because each of your team members uh, have their own sanity meters that you have to keep an eye on. You have to make sure they're sane and alive. And from what I know, it's supposed to be very, very stressful. But the movie, John Carpenter is the Thing, got a prequel in, I believe, 2011 titled... The Thing. Which famously used CG instead of practical effects, even though it was filmed with practical effects, and the producers made them go back and do it over with CG. But that means John Carpenter's The Thing is a trio of media 
titled The Thing, The Thing, and The Thing. Because both the PS2 game and the prequel film drop John Carpenter from the title. I don't even know if John Carpenter was involved with the prequel. Yeah, it's just a funny thing that I think about. I hate that I just said thing. Because there is a tr three pieces of one story are titled The Thing, The Thing, and The Thing. I have not seen the 2011 prequel film, I've not seen The Thing from Another World, and I've not seen the unauthorized train one. I have only seen John Carpenter's The Thing. I kinda wanna see the uh, prequel, even though I know it's not going to be nearly as good, but I still kinda wanna see it. Just to say I've seen it. Oh, that actually hurts when they do that. No, I didn't want to go through. that. Okay, got him. Another one. That's that. Oh, thank God, you beautiful bastards. Well, that healed me completely. The Thing is also, uh, John Carpenter's The Thing is also one of my favorite films. I will always use it as proof that practical effects will always be more impressive than, uh, CG. Because goddamn, that film does just does not work with, uh, CG. Now, some of the practical effects have, like, not aged all that well. Oh my god, just go left, left, left. I'm begging you to go left, thank you. Some of the practical effects haven't aged all that well. Like, you can clearly tell uh, what they were doing. Which kind of does diminish the horror a little bit. But there's... The reason why I personally think that the old way of making films is superior to the new way is for one reason. For those who have seen the film, do you guys remember the bit during the quote-unquote interrogation scene, and maybe just before it, where... No, it's, it's during it. When the guy who is actually infected with the thing turns into the monster. And he bites, or he gets someone else who is knocked unconscious. They put that guy on a table, and then the doctor goes up to the table with defibrillators and sticks his arms in the guy's chest suddenly opens and bites his arms off did you guys know the actor who played the guy who lost his arms was swapped out for his twin for that scene sorry not his twin his stunt double who was double amputated complete look-alike actor who was missing both of his arms so when his arms are ripped off, that's actual fake arms being ripped off because he doesn't have any arms. You don't see stuff like that anymore because everything is done with CG. There's less passion and effort put into anything 
because they know they can just cover it up with CG or remove it with CG or force vi visual effects actors to work eight not actors artists to work 18 months with no break and no vacation in order to maybe make She-Hulk slightly smaller for one specific scene. That that's where the film process is essentially gone now. When talked about the thing, one of the stations at the South Pole has an annual showing of the film. Yeah, that that's amazing. It's a good movie. It's a very good movie if you can stomach it. I'm not squeamish about gore. So, it's, that's why it's one of my favorite films. Alright, so I don't want to spread my biomass. Shit, I actually do. It's my only way out. I think I do want to spread my biomass. I'm going to collect all these for now. Eat the damn nut sack. There we Shuffle. Skyrim shuffle. Skyrim shuffle. Skyrim shuffle. Alright, I think I'm done over there. Uh, I'm going to go this way. So I think you get a pipe, Zeno. Excavation site. Also, brilliant sound design here. It's muffled because I'm underwater, even though the character I'm possessing is not. This game has absolutely brilliant sound design. To the right. Oop. Squeeze in.
I need shit in my biomass. I saw a spot for that. Yeah, it was right here where I was hiding. I missed a step. I have to check which way this thing is facing. Alright. Yeah, that won't flip the switch. See another pool where I can uh, drop off my nut sacks. So there's probably something up ahead I'm gonna need to do. Oh, that's definitely not good. Okay, so I can actually die that way. Good to know. Alright. Alright, I have a uh, couple options here. There we go. I'm gonna go back and uh, save just out of safety. Right. One sec as I take a sip of my tang. Hmm. Delicious. So the nice thing about tang is that. 
I was gonna have something flavorful to drink that isn't pop, because I'm trying to cut back on how much pop I'm drinking. I'm down to drinking pop maybe like three times a week. Instead of once every day. So, I think I'm doing well on that. Alright. That is another butthole. We can get through the big butthole. I feel like we're getting closer to the surface. this way. Okay. Need to be a little more careful there. Oh, we're all the way back here. Fucking hell. Oh, listen. I don't know how well the keratin shield is going to work against the flamethrower guys. turn these off for a moment. No, off. Oh, you know, that actually worked. All right. We good. I can't imagine there's much left to the game. This level was really long. I'm just gonna... This is one way. Alright, we have one exit out of here.
Owie. Oh Alright. We are out of here, boys. Boys, gals, and non-binary pals, we are on our way out. That was the X I found earlier. personnel to the BSL-4 research ward. Isn't this the first area? Because I think it is. Thank you, Lizard Man. Thank you for the pipe. Y'all really do love that Piper team. Gamer Unleashed. True. It's time to look around and see if I can find anything resembling where I'm supposed to go. You did make it cheap and easily best during horror. Yeah, I did make it fairly cheap. I need to get some uh, more expensive redeems for y'all. I think I'm going in circles.
Ah, here we go. This is where I'm supposed to be. Looks like I'm missing something. ESL4 Research Award. Ah. So I did not get the other biomass sample there. I guess that does work. Throat's a little fucked up. Yeah, I think that's where I originally woke up. Anomalous Materials Vault. Parasitism. No data available. I'm me again.
I can't turn back into the uh, thing. So, this is a very bad scenario for the world to be in, but this is the exact scenario that the thing was trying to, uh, or that the thing was, uh, trying to do in the thing. It was trying to get out of Antarctica and back into the mainland, or just anywhere with civilization, to multiply. All right, we are done a little bit early. That was not a six hour game. That was, well, no. No, that was closer to like five hours. Excuse me. This is good. This is really good. Would I highly recommend this. All right, well, it's too early to end stream, so, uh, what do you want to do? I can play F-Zero 99. Could play Splatoon. <laughs> Lead idea guy. Could play, uh, Sweaky Game if you guys want to see that. What do you guys think? Splatoon? Sweaky Game? Sweaky Game is that uh, watermelon game that a bunch of other VTubers are into. It uh, suddenly got an English release a few days ago. I'm hooked on it. It's really fun. If I had to vote, I would actually vote for Splatoon, though, not Sweaky Game. Even though you guys probably, not many of you probably know what Sweaky Game is. Just because, you know, there is the uh, Splatoon stuff coming up. So that gives me a bit of an excuse to work on stuff. Or, uh, work on the catalog, I mean. As always, though, we're gonna wait for the credits to finish. Just out of respect. You do you. Alright, soon it'll be. I'll have to go uh, back upstairs to grab my copy of the game. So, Bao, Zeno, if you guys are still in chat, if you would like to join Splatoon, also post in the collab channel. That, uh, anyone who wants to join is welcome to. No humans are harmed in the making of this game. Thanks for playing. What's the angry face for, Bell?
Yeah, I, I thought there was going to be more to it, but that, that, that was it. All right. Um, let me swap. Actually, wait, no. I'm going to go to my intermission screen. I'll be back with Splatoon. So you guys just enjoy the music. May want to... This is your morning to turn the volume down if you want to. I did... I think I fixed the volume levels for the songs, but you never know. I don't know what it was last playing. So, uh, that's your warning. I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay. Yeah, you know, the funny thing is, uh, I thought I clicked studio mode, so you guys kind of caught me in the middle of this. Oops. There we go. <laughs> I also fixed the category. Sec. 
Yeah, my uh, trackball's been fucking up lately. I think I need to replace it. Zombies. So yeah, uh, Bao, Zeno, if you guys want to join, go ahead. Uh, you're just gonna have to let me know in chat so I know to add you. Are, are, are either of you gonna join? You don't have to. Just, just asking. You can tend to watch. Zeno, do you want to join? Or no. Which one will off your nine? Alright. Make sure you grab the, uh... Items first. Oh, the mask glows in the dark! Oh, I didn't know that! That's cool! Yeah, uh, check the news channel and then join- uh, oh, launch the game through the news channel and then go to the lobby terminal to collect the, uh, items. So you can get those. Audio up. Yeah, I got the uh, Swim Reaper mask. Which is the little uh, Cthulhu looking skull mask I have. Woodward. You know, I think this is the first time I've actually seen a player named Squidward in my entire time playing Splatoon, and that actually surprises me. There actually was a Spongebob themed Splatfest, uh, one time. Uh, Splatoon 1? I believe did Spongebob vs. Patrick, and Splatoon 2 did Transformer or Autobots vs. Decepticons. Because they had a Transformers crossover. There haven't been any uh, third-party crossovers with Splatoon 3, but we did get the Zelda and uh, Pokemon games. Which, the first two games did not do. They didn't have any Nintendo crossovers. Betsy. Did that say Phantasmagoric Marie fan? Present descendant, Spookil. Oh, Spookil. Oh, like uh, Spookil and Hyde. Oh, that's actually a clever name. Big honking butterfingers. Ow. Guys are not doing well. I did say Phantasmagoric Murray fan. Special was ready, but it wasn't, so I just uh, kind of stood there, I guess. Guys, we lost.
the floor is lava. I love in games when you just do silly stuff and other people join you. Like when you start dancing in Warframe or an MMO and other people join. Oh my god, we got Epic Yoshi. Sorrow, is that you? <laughs> but I don't think Sorrow likes Splatoon. Those are the classic colors. Oh, that's a lot of people. <laughs> I love watching someone uh, pop a uh, special and then immediately die afterwards. It's always funny. Yep, that was spookle. Cool. That uh, disconnected. Mom called for dinner. I like how there are some people that have uh, actual attempts at Halloween costumes, and then there's people who are absolutely not dressed for the occasion. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's another yawn. I'm a yawning bitch today. Whoops. Sorry, I missed you. Awful, awful. Alright, Zeno, you join or did you already, uh... You joining now or did you already cover the birds?
then I will just sit here and wait for the speed level. Actually, come to think of it. Bandit might uh, have a little trouble going to bed, so let's start a regular match and he can join. We don't have to do this. Hydrated. Thug Hunter? The IRS. Rider Lover. Hydrated. And Tea Salmon. Oh, it was a strong yawn. What's with all the yawns, dude? Fucking right eye tear up every time I yawn. Tears out of my right eye, and that's kind of got caught. Hey, I killed Rider Lover. All right, good. Why did the camera zoom in for a moment there? Hey, buddy. What'd you just Stay back. my uh, after stream snack uh, we got food from a local place again it's the one that I don't name because it's very close to my house but uh, they sell pizza pops which is a Chicago treat it's a pastry that has pizza ingredients you usually buy them frozen at grocery stores and the same company that makes them also makes taco puffs Yoros puffs and Reuben puffs pretty good. I've had them. I've only had them frozen though. I've never had a restaurant quality one before. It's not like healthy eating, of course, but, you know, it's a nice treat. In the waiting room? Alright. Well, you can just join me. See. Oh, wait. Do you want to do a friend lobby or do you want to just join? We should have an opening. Let's do a friend lobby. So, give me a moment here. Ah, oh, finally a win. Stop. Friends, room. There we go.
Yeah, just join the lobby when you're ready. Oh, the goo. Oh, in Discord. Okay. <laughs> I forgot that's what it was called. <laughs> Fuck you. Hey, you're the one that fucked up. Hey, listen. Listen, I'm not used to my own changes yet, alright? Uh, what team did you pick, by the way? Skeleton. I, I actually really do think Skeleton is going to win, because... Not everyone likes zombies. Zombies are actually a very unpopular Halloween choice, funnily enough. And while a lot of people like ghosts, the skeletons have memes backing them. How many yeah. memes can you guys think of that involve a skeleton? Because I can think of two specific ones. Bob the skeleton, and the skeleton appears. Also, I'd like to point out, the very first fucking message I see from anyone here in... Splatoon is someone by the name of Ryder with five exclamation marks and their message says I'm going to be pregnant for Halloween <laughs> this is in Car oh, we finished carrying hun we actually finished it an hour and 20 minutes early so uh, like we finished it 20 minutes ago so I swapped to Splatoon so uh, I could actually fill out time because I thought I had another hour left in carry-in, but the game just ended. Give me a moment here, so I can uh, claim my shit and whatnot. Yes. Uh, also, Han, I am the Swim Reaper. There's some Halloween items you can get right now. But yeah, I actually have a th think a good chance. I, I think skeletons have a good chance of winning, and Val makes a point. Sans. Sans and Papyrus. Those two alone might actually carry the skeleton team to victory. Say what you want about Undertale and Deltarune. Sans is one of the most recognizable characters in gaming. For better or for worse. Sam's Cave Story? I need to play Cave Story again. I never got the true ending because I couldn't beat the Bloodstained Sanctuary. It was too hard. I tried. I tried so hard and got so far, but in the end, it didn't really matter. God, it's been forever since I played Splatoon. Well. Yeah, I've been keeping up with it. The catalog's really giving me stuff to do. Uh, I, by the way, there are actually some new clothing items I've been getting from the catalog. Send oh, shit. dudes. Goober 3. Safari, cheesecake. Safari Already and cheesecake not. know each other. They have the exact same fit and everything. What is going on out there? My window is vibrating. I don't know. I'm worried one of these nights uh, some asshole is going to be playing music so loudly my window is just going to fucking shatter. That is possible. Yep, it's possible to do it with just your voice, too. Yep. Ugh. Window's still vibrating, by the way. Got you. Mine isn't, so... I also don't hear anything out there, so I have no idea what the fuck it could be. I hear something, but I can't identify it at the moment. I like that name, though, some dudes. It's funny. Xeno just pop over on the left. 
<laughs> okay, so there's a big chunk of our base that no one fucking covered. Jesus Christ, y'all. I only just shit? died, so I have not been back up here. I killed like four people before I died. Window is still vibrating, by the way. Whatever's going on out there is still going on. Now it stopped. I know. I cannot believe I'm almost 30 and I'm finally complaining about my neighbors. Little mouth. We truly do become our parents. Explosive bird cheesecake. Okay. <laughs> Exploding penguins. Remember that bit from Billy and Mandy? Oh, yeah. Is it Exploding Penguins 3? <laughs> Billy and Mandy was a kid's show that should not have been aimed at kids. Uh, that show was messed up. <laughs> my headphones to my switch so I can actually hear what the fuck I'm doing in game. Fun fact, Sam's cave story actually appears as a joke gag easter egg in a game called Horror Veil. Vale. Interesting. So, uh, the two top players on a team, if they happen to win, will uh, fist bump each other if they are next to each other on the victory screen. And the funny thing is, most of the time, I end up fist bumping someone. That doesn't actually mean that I'm the best at the game. It just means that because I'm using the goddamn arrow spray, I'm getting the most points. Because the arrow spray is fucking busted. You can get over a thousand points and still suck, because I, I usually get over a thousand points, and a lot of the time I just die all the time. But I'm able to get enough points quickly because it's the fucking arrow strike. You just point that thing in the general direction of something and it'll get covered. The loser. Lala. Maybe Heather. I don't know what that Kumpu guy is, but his name is confusing me. Sending an image of Sam. I will look after Strength. Or at least after this match. Also, uh, lately I've been listening to music a lot again, and I'm starting to get obsessed with songs and musicians again like I used to. And uh, I am just obsessed with Scratch 21 right now. I don't need to explain who the band is to Xeno since I've already been telling him about them off stream through stream but for those who don't know Scratch 21 is a furry band that uh most of their music videos are animated so it's kind of like gorillas except uh not backed by a corporation the only thing we know for sure is that the lion in the band the lead singer and the guitarist is shady box but we don't know who the other bandmates are. Um, they're a pop punk band that mostly covers Blink-182, and the shtick with them is that they're British. But nobody knows the identity of the other bandmates. The only thing that we do know is according to the band members themselves, they met in college. So it's very possible that the other three members of the band could be Shady Vox's actual college classmates. That is entirely possible. We just don't know who they are. But uh, they've done a lot of covers. They recently did a new video for an old cover of Tom DeLonge's uh, The Invisible Parade. They did a cover of Blink-182's I Miss You, Radiohead's Creep, stuff like that. 
And most famously recently, their newest song was a cover of ACDC's Big Balls, which some of you may remember from some time ago when I had a YouTube video up, uh, Big Balls was recommended, and all of y'all were freaking out about it. But I, I am obsessed with the Invisible Parade right now. Are we actually winning? Not really. We were. But not anymore. Oh, I just fucked up that dude. Are this information of the characters? Oh, they already have. Don't 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 worry about that. They have. Which tells me they might actually be like actual furries and not just people using furry characters to get clout. The Shady Box is absolutely a fur. I know that much. That was actually closer than I thought it was going to be. Huh. That does not look that close. MK12. Oh, speaking of MK12, uh, have y'all heard the bullshit going on with Mortal Kombat 1 right now? Foul knows, because I know he saw it, but, uh, they're gonna add a new Halloween fatality. Like, you know, a finishing move, a fatality, the iconic thing from the series. You have to pay for it, though. They're really nickel and diming people for fucking fatalities. Yeah, it's a $70 game with a $40 season pass that still has microtransactions and a character that was cut from the roster to add to the pre-order bonus, which is the second time they've done that for that character, because they did it for Mortal Kombat 11 as well. Shang Tsung is a pre-order bonus for both Mortal Kombat 11 and Mortal Kombat 1. Oh yeah, Mortal Kombat X had the easy fatality tokens and the skip fight tokens. Now, keep in mind, I don't want to believe that Ed Boon is the cause for this. I lay the blame squarely on, uh, fucking Warner Brothers. However, something to note is that Ed Boon is a musk stand. So it is entirely plausible that this is his his idea and not Warner Brothers. No, Shao Kahn. No, Shang Tsung was not in the uh, aftermath DLC. He was in the story in the aftermath DLC, but he was the pre-order bonus. I thought. I think. I thought Shang Tsung was pre-order bonus for MK11, not MKX. He meant MK11 because he said the aftermath DLC. Ah, okay. If you see the popo, make sure to warn a brother. Sounds like a cut joke from Animaniacs. <laughs> Was Shao Kahn the pre-order bonus of MK11? I could have sworn it was I, Shang Tsung. I thought it was Shang Tsung. Because I, I remember when Noob Saibot was announced, I think Shang Tsung was announced around the same time. It's Shao Kahn, okay. Huh. Was Shang Tsung added in Aftermath? I, I'm really confused now, because I thought he was a pre- Oh, was he the pre-order bonus for Aftermath? I'm so confused. No, wait a minute, Aftermath just added the characters all at once, didn't it? It didn't do the delayed rollout? Oh, 
I mean, either way, this is the second time they've done a pre-order bonus like that, and nobody likes pre-order bonuses. Nobody. Link Lane. So all things considered, Mortal Kombat 1 has just seemed like a disaster from start to finish so far. I have heard what they did oh, to yeah. the story, and I do not like what they did to it. They only just now, with the most recent update, by the way, added in the ability to tag moves for um, having them on screen. That wasn't in the for, game For, like, practice default. and whatnot. No, it wasn't. That was in the last two games. Yeah. What? PS5 just Although, gave you the ability, uh, just got an update to let you check for updates, by the way. You couldn't check for updates before. Oh, Sam Cave Story, yeah. What is this? The most recent update also, uh, I oh, think... Oh, I hate that. ...finally fixed some of the frame data as well that's listed in the game. They freaking listed their own frame data wrong, somehow. Uh, I swear a couple fighting games I've played have had incorrect moves in the... Move lists. Move lists. I want to say it was tech had incorrect moves listed. It wasn't Tekken 7. I know. I game. know for a fact MK1 did that too. Because <laughs> they fixed that in the last update. I want to say it was Tekken Tag Tournament actually had a couple moves listed incorrectly. Or Tekken Tag Tournament 2. Because I've played Tekken 3, Tekken 5, and Dark Resurrection. 7 and Tag Tournament 2, and I distinctly remember being confused why the moves in Tag Tournament 2 weren't working. Now, granted, I got better at Tekken after I played Tag Tournament 2. After I stopped playing it, I mean, so maybe I just need to try it again. It has been a while, I wouldn't mind playing it again. Gobgrin. I like that name. Why is the sniper named Milk? Named what? Milk. What are you gonna do? Milk me? Can you not just walk in front of me? Jesus, man. <laughs> that was you? Sorry. Oh, oh you are not track my I just sprayed, oh, okay. What? This is one of the new chargers, too. Or, uh, yeah. Zeno, what weapon are you using? Uh, the silver air spray. Uh, not the gold? Nope. The silver one got buffs because of the reef slider buffs that recently happened. Ah. Oh god, yeah, the reef slider. They didn't need to buff that. No, they did not, because, Jesus Christ, it charges so fast now. It's one of the best specials in the game. Why the fuck did they, uh, buff it twice? Oh, God. Ow. I got milk. Finally answered the question of, does Spike got milk? And you don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, for the record, I was referring to the Got Milk commercials. I guess. I was not referring to whatever you're thinking of. So for once, get well, your not actual know mind out of the gutter. I didn't know what the fuck you were thinking of. Huh? I didn't know what the fuck you were thinking of, so fuck you. But the fucking Got Milk commercials, the whole question is Got Milk. Yeah, I think you think I remember those fucking commercials? They're so iconic, I don't even know what they were for. I just remember them. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely don't remember what they were advertising other than milk. I just remember the Mario 64 uh, commercial vividly in my head. In the words of Markiplier, I can milk you. 
Oops. Zeno, are you wearing one of the Halloween items? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see on the... Oh, we had a disconnect. Yeah, I read it the last second. Oh, you got the pirate outfit. Yeah, I'm wearing the pirate hat. Yeah, I'm actually comfortable with my uh, ability chunk, so I'm actually not using the... Uh, um... Jesus, that's too fast. Yet. That was literally at milk. Okay. Mm, you're so full of... Calcium. Those are, man, that is Taco a lover. very strange thing to say as you come back. Oh my god, it's blue, but it's a different blue. Okay, Taco Lover, do you like Mexican food or are you a lesbian? I kind of need to know. <laughs> this person either really loves Mexican food or they're a gay woman. The answer is yes, according to Soro. I actually turned down some tacos earlier. The place we got food from has tacos. And we went there because our mom wanted tacos. And I actually turned down tacos because for once I wasn't in the mood for them. I tried to take a chicken sandwich that was a little too thick for me. It had way too much chicken on it. Very big, thick, yeah, I've had their uh, tough pieces of chicken. I've had their chicken sandwiches before. They're... I mean, they're good, but the chicken's a little too thick. Yeah, there were like three fucking pieces of chicken on it, too. It was a lot of chicken. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of chicken. Taco oh, Lover is just hiding in the ink. And just slamming people. I mean, it is a strat. It's a lane strat, but it is a strat. seen the Meat Canyon videos, man. The first time I ever seen uh, Meat Canyon was when you posted the uh, Pickleball one. What is that dude on? Because that video was cursed. Really well animated, though. I really enjoy it. Absolutely horrifying, but really well animated. are a bit cursed. Yeah, I'll take the word for it. Oh. Ghost Cod. Damn. Breaking Bard. Call of Duty Ghosts. Holy shit. Good God, there's only a two point difference. <laughs> two fucking points. Holy shit. COD Ghosts came out ten years ago, Jesus Christ. I mean, there's oh, a COD God. game every year. Actually, has a COD game come out this year? Not yet, but next month? Okay. I'm not playing it. Obviously. I don't really keep up with COD. Uh, there was a dude on, uh, Twitter who was trying to argue that, uh... If a game... ...isn't popular, or isn't selling well, that clearly means it isn't popular. 
Or rather, if a game is popular, then it's clearly good. So if games aren't selling well, then they must not be good. And people were trying to point out to him that that's not how that works. And I mentioned COD, because if it, by his logic, if that was true, COD wouldn't be selling well. Because, because most people agree COD has gotten worse. So if a game is bad means it doesn't sell well, then COD wouldn't be selling well. And he's like, um, clearly you're just from a niche gaming sphere if you think COD is bad. And me and three other people were like, what are you talking about? It was like, people saying COD sucks now is like a very popular take, actually. It's not niche in the slightest. Oh, that's a tamper. <laughs> Why is the brush main fucking laggy? Why is it always the brushes? <laughs> always the brushes, and it's always the rollers. Paul Dookie Black Box. <laughs> Jesus Christ, huh? Oh god, there's a blob lobber. And see, if you had not swapped weapons, we would have had a second blob lobber. You should watch Wildcat. What's Wildcat? Oh, uh, bonus points. The uh, dude said that uh, because I said COD is bad, that clearly means I have terrible takes on video games. Why are there so many fucking, uh, beacons over there? I don't fucking know. Also, you do, but they're unrelated. Shut up. Ah, oh, fuck. I fell. God damn it. I have the best thing to do this. No, uh Oh, you're stupid. Got him. Are you good? Yep, I'm good. He's got shot point-blank range in the face by a fucking umbrella. Ow, I think I saw the umbrella. Well, he likes Cod, he also has no problem ripping into it. Well, I mean, if you're a true fan of something, you're going to be more than willing to rip into it. Because you're a fan of it. You love it so much that you hate seeing it be bad. That's the thing that some people don't understand, is that if you're a real fan, you will criticize it. Now that you won't. Like, I don't like seeing Nintendo do bad things. Because I love Nintendo, I'm a big Nintendo fan. I want the, to see them do good things. If they put out a bad game, I am going to give them shit for it, because I want them to do better than that. Not only sells well in North America, but not much else. Well, yeah, because it's got the fucking U.S. military backing it. Oh, dear. Fry94, oh, welcome on in. Can you give a shout-out? Oh, sorry, Fry64. Welcome on in. We you streaming? Splatoon 3. I see. Yeah, we were actually streaming something else earlier. Uh, we were streaming Carrion, and I uh, finished it a little earlier than I expected. So, uh, we saw this platoon. My brother's joining me. Yo. Raiders, if you don't know who I am, I am Rogue Spike, the one and only Dapper Dragon. I normally play a lot of different kinds of games. We were doing a horror marathon for most of the month. I do Retro Night every Sunday. Right now we're playing Splatoon because my actual game for tonight ended earlier than I expected it to. So we're here. Were you uh, kicking ass and taking names in Splatoon? Jesus Christ. Yeah, we One boy. of our fucking teammates is yeah, yeah, we we boy. boy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. God, oh man. my god. I love how gay this Fucking Splatoon, Splatoon names. <laughs> yeah. Funky little gay inklings. I 
I just love the amount charged. of women lover, boy lover, boy kisser, girl kisser, those kinds of names that I see. Like, I love it. Well, Raiders, I hope you have a pleasant rest of the evening. You can come and chill with me for a bit. We're going to be going for at least another 20 oh, minutes. Oh, God! Okay, so the killer whale with the buffs can actually kill you now? Well, it always could. It usually kills me because I get caught on something because this, I'm just cursed. Well, no, it just fucking killed me instantly. Oh. I wasn't even caught on anything. It will just kill you now. Good God. That's actually a much yeah, needed buff, because it is kind of hard to kill people with it unless they get caught on something. Uh, yeah. Eight salmon eggs and left no yolk. Oh God, what the fuck happened? You know, I've never had ro uh, salmon roe before. I know that's a big thing in it's... Japan. I do not like it. It pops. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think I would like it. I you do. Oh God, not. everyone's over here. I do like eggs though, because I, I have actually recently mastered the art of soft boiled eggs. I'm very proud of that. Gotcha. That was a break. Thank you for the follow, Skunktronics. I like that name, by the way. But yeah, in regards to Splatoon names, I love how ridiculous Splatoon names are. My personal two favorites that I've seen were Staniel, and I just forgot what the other one was. Shit. I, I'm literally keeping a list of funny Splatoon names that are just weird amalgamations of other names. Uh, Staniel was one of them, I forget what the other one was, and there's also Wet Toast. And I once dreamed that I was losing in Splatoon to a guy named Farticus Maximus. And the least believable thing about that name was that it would fit. Because if uh, Splatoon names only allow for 12 characters, if they allowed for more, there absolutely would be at least three people named Farticus Maximus. Oh, absolutely. I just know it. I've seen some terrible names in this game. The worst one was... Uh, E lover who had the title Wet Floor Fan. Sorry, Crusty Wet Floor Fan. And, do not uh, like that. <laughs> yeah, that, that I felt violated when I got masked with them. That's just gross. Oh, I don't need to be reading that shit. Splash tag combo See called World's Best Head. <laughs> Someone got a tag combo from the shell out machine. That said, unarmed student. Which okay, is here's the uh, list so far of the funny amalgamations I've seen. Abigail, Janthony, Staniel, <laughs> Tyler, and Jimothy. Jimothy, that was the other one. It was Jimothy and Staniel. <laughs> Names are fucking ridiculous, and I love them. I don't know if the account is still around, but there was a uh, Twitter account called Weird Splatoon Names. I don't know what it is with the Splatoon community, but they come up with the wildest names. Yeah, Jimothy and Staniel are really good. Gay idiot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sour squink. I don't like that. Oh, I think someone's a streamer on Twitch. Because uh -oh. they've got TTV in their name. Yeah, pro tip. Don't actually uh, make it obvious that you're streaming in an online game. Because that is how you get hate rated. Yep. I don't know what possesses Kohai to just announce that. Well, I mean, one of his Valorant names is actually VTuber Kohai. He has like three accounts. That boy plays way too much Valorant. Uh -oh. Die. Thank you. Oh god, that's Killer Whale. Nope, Y'all nope, just nope, are nope, promoting nope. in my game, aren't you? I cannot believe this. I'm, I don't even know who this person is and I'm already going to ban them. Oh dear. Another raid. Oh, dear god. Great hair, Archie. Oh, Archie! Welcome in. Yeah, we were doing a carry-in earlier, but uh, the game ended a lot... 
sooner than I thought it would, so we're filling out time with Splatoon. Welcome on in, Raiders. We get a shout out to. Oh, thank you, Sora. If you guys don't know who I am, I am Rogue Spike, the one and only Dapper Dragon. Uh, I stream basically whatever I want. Normally we do a lot of Nintendo games and indie games. I've been doing a horror marathon for most of the month, and every Sunday I do retro games. We were doing carrying earlier, and I finished it two hours in the stream, and I normally stream for three or four hours, so, uh... Kinda had to do something to fill out time. My brother is joining me for this impromptu Splatoon session. Yo. How's Splatoon going? Uh... It's going good. Also, I think one of the enemy team names is SaulGoodman.jpg, but they couldn't fit Goodman in, so it's just Saul G. Yeah, I literally just killed them. I think I know the exact image that they mean, too. <laughs> I do know what Dapper means. If you're a Dapper Dragon, you're a sharp-dressed dragon. I, I literally know of a streamer named Dapper Dan who is the epitome of Dapper. I know what Dapper is. Foul. So technically, I'd be a, a, a mix of a variety streamer and a retro streamer. Usually spend your time on Twitch watching other people. Oh, I, I have Twitch open up, like, 24-7 when I'm not streaming. Usually it's background noise, but I've also grown to enjoy streamers over watching TV. There's, like, so few TV shows I want to watch now. Even on streaming services, there's almost nothing I want to watch. I actually have not even subscribed to any streaming services. I basically just watch Twitch and play video games. I'm actually relatively new to streaming. I started last year. Uh, last January... July, not January. More into making games and playing games. I want to make games. Well, I have ideas for games. I don't think I actually want to sit down and make them. <laughs> That was very stressful. Stressful, time-consuming, a lot, a big money sink and all that. I don't really have any of that right now. Maybe after I get that IT job. Uh-oh, someone's joining. Oh, God. Is it blue? It's probably blue. Oh, no, it's empty. Oh, it's empty. Oh, yeah, he's in the waiting room. All right. Hey, Simki. Yo. Hello. Yeah, we're only going to be going for another, like, 17 minutes. Or 15 minutes. Yeah, I figured you guys won't be on too much longer. What horror games am I playing this month? Oh, God. Uh, I should have made a command for the list. So, my theme for the month, for the most part, was indie horror. If I remember correctly, I streamed, um, what was it? Pinstripe, Carrion, which I just finished today, Squirrel Stapler, Security Booth Director's Cut, Ghostbusters, the video game remastered, which I know is an indie horror, but I wanted to stream it because a friend bought it for me a few years ago. Um, Happy Game. Inside and Limbo. I think that's everything. And then next week I'll be doing Doki Doki Literature Club Plus and ending with Luigi's Mansion. And then on Sundays, my theme is PS1 Horror. I finished Dino Crisis uh, two weeks ago, and last Sunday I streamed Parasite Eve, which I will be doing for the next couple weeks. Yeah, and uh, something to note, when I stream old games, I stream them from the original consoles, because I actually have a uh, pretty big game collection, because I'm a collector. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I started streaming, was to show off my collection. So I actually have a composite HDMI converter. I have a lot of spare cables, so whenever I want to stream an old game, I just hook up the old console, connect it to the converter, hook it up to the cap capture card, and voila. I've been showing off a lot of the weirder and more obscure games from my collection over the uh, 
course of my streaming career so far, like Chameleon Twist 2. Uh, I tried to do Siren on PS2, but that didn't really work out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Siren yeah, Siren's too... a bit of uh, a mess, difficulty-wise. It, it's too big brain for me. I, I, I can't. I can't deal with it. it I just can't. Yeah. You want one of the you want spoilers for one of the later puzzles? Uh, probably not because Zeno wanted to play it. Okay. He was actually going to try to play it without a guide. Uh, <laughs> it's probably the puzzle or one of the puzzles that I know of. So you go ahead. Okay. So there's one. Uh, I'm trying to remember exactly. So there's one area where you need to um, uh, get a police officer out of the uh, office to grab his key. I think it was. So the. Uh, Solution for the puzzle. Well, there's a piggy bank playing there, so it's like, oh, knock it off, but he immediately turns around and shoots you. But what you need to do is, as a completely different character, you need to put a wet cloth in a freezer in the room, and then as another yep. completely different character who actually had to do the puzzle, you have to use that wet cloth to prop up the piggy bank, then run off and wait for the cloth to melt and drop the piggy bank. Yeah, that's, yeah, I, I know that puzzle. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> There's Welcome literally to no way to figure it out in game. All right, good night, Troy. Yeah, uh, Bal also mentioned that uh, chat couldn't see anything, because uh, when I'm using the HDMI converter, what I see is a little darker than what, or a little brighter than what you guys see. And for Siren, yeah, uh, I, I saw in the stream preview, uh, I couldn't see anything in the stream preview, and I could barely see in the game itself. So it, yeah, it just wasn't making for a good be, stream yeah. because you guys couldn't see shit. Because I had to have yeah, the light off most of the time. Yeah, it's meant to be pitch black because it's like, oh, well, if you use your light, you get spotted easier. But it's exceedingly hard to see if you don't. Yeah, and I already have mentioned that I have really poor vision with uh, low light in games. Yeah. To the point that it makes some games unplayable if I don't turn the brightness way up. To like an absurd degree. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure the second game fixed I can a lot of the issues. Converter do I have? Uh, I have fallen from Stone Age Gamer. I think it's uh, old school AV to HDMI school with a K instead of a CH. It costs $10. Yeah. It's cheap. It's a cheap, quick, and dirty solution because honestly, if I wanted to do <laughs> this properly, I wouldn't invest in upscalers, but that it, it's just too expensive. Too expensive and... Uh, Upscalers, I think, need to be powered, and, uh... They do, yeah. Usually. I'd have to probably get a second surge protector in order to have enough space for that. I also will note that I have had two of those old-school ones, and neither of them work out of the package. Whereas, this and the second one that we, we have bought two, and work. And both work, so, like... Yeah, they're inconsistent, and you could probably do better. But oh, yeah, if you really need something like quick, maybe like a store has it. Yeah, this is just a Chinese converter that uh, you can slap your name on. Yeah, like you could probably get the same thing for cheaper on Amazon, but oh, definitely, it's cool. usually has better customer service. Yeah, and like, well, I've actually told people that what I use is a solution, but it's a quick and dirty one, and you really are just better off investing in upscalers. Don't do what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah, see, Bell, I think you bought an actual branded HDMI converter. I am going to keep using this damn thing until it breaks or until I decide to invest in upscalers. Because your best option is to just use an upscaler. There is another option, and that's to get a really expensive capture card that actually has composite input. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend I that, though, because they don't make them anymore. Uh, I think the Japanese company is still making them. That actually doesn't surprise me, if I'm enough. Yeah, uh, Japan uh, is actually, uh, despite being thought of as being technologically advanced, they're actually very behind in a lot of areas, especially in business. Yeah. They still the, use uh, fax capture machines. Card. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, because I was looking it up, but in the, it was, like, missed the one that, uh, wasn't recommended in general, but, like, pretty much everyone in the speedrunning communities were like, yeah, this is what I used. You do have to do some extra stuff, though, because the software it comes with is not in English. Yeah, and, Wonderful. uh... 
I got the capture card I did, which is an easy cap uh, capture card because it doesn't come with software. It works out of the box on Linux, and I have had absolutely no issues with it whatsoever. It works perfectly. Yeah, the one I bought doesn't have any software either. I'll be a pretty Linux kernel. To be fair, though, most people just, just use Elgato, and Elgato has a uh, really terrible software that comes with it, from what I know. Very useful, but it oh. has a tendency of breaking everything. Uh, the yeah. reactive died. Oh god. Oh. Oh no. Oh, that's a... Uh, that's oh. a lot of those. Oh, <laughs> Fogey Tech, what is you doing? Yeah. I'm just gone. No more. Rest in pieces. Well, the nice thing is we're not exactly going to be using it for much longer. Yeah, if you guys can just yeah. deal with it for uh, another few minutes. Oh, the website's down again. Oh. Oof. Yeah, I guess no reactives for the past the next, like, ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, um... <laughs> yeah, well, we're all just gonna have to deal with well. that, so we're all just errors for right now. Perfect. <laughs> you get the gap poo poo. What happened? What can I do? Alright. We probably have enough time for, like, one more match, anyways. Probably, yeah. The one I got, I just got, was a replacement for the one that had a lot of very annoying buzzing during recordings. Interesting. Yeah, the setup I use isn't isn't the worst. I think I sent you some footage, just a like test footage I took before. But it's a uh, a uh, HD or a composite to HDMI hooked up to my capture card with a direct feed from my CRT. Instead of it being a feed from the console, it's from the TV itself. Yeah, that I don't know how to do, and that probably would be... Yeah, good you really just need a CRT that has an out out cable, which mine does. Yeah, I don't have a CRT I can easily move in here, though. We do have a lot of yeah. CRTs, like SimKey. You would probably go nuts over the old tech that's in this house. <laughs> probably. We, we do have that one small... Um... It's oh, not a CRT, the an LCD one. screen, but it, yeah, it's got the built-in uh, DVD player on the side. That, I think, has some uh, out and in plugs. I'll have to dig it out to check. No, but... that, that's not a CRT, that's an LCD TV. But, yeah, no, I said that it's not a CRT. Oh, I thought you said. It's an LCD, but I'm fairly confident it's got some out plugs as well. Right. We do have a portable CRT that my grandma used to have, unless she's still using it for some reason. Oh, the absolutely fucking tiny one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the oh, one I like used to play time. any fucking games on where I actually needed to be able to see. <laughs> we used to use that all the, the time. Little, like, uh, kitchen TVs? Yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, it, it's got, like, a fucking 10-inch screen. If that, even. <laughs> it is tiny. Uh, definitely not. Okay, so not as small as a kitchen TV because those do have like five inch screens. Uh, next time I can, I'll see if we can find it and uh, I'll send a picture to you. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think I know where it is. I, so, uh, I can snag a picture. Yeah, I will but, say uh, my setup OBS uh, for some reason has a really metallic like sound. It's just OBS though because I streamed it over Discord because Discord actually lets you stream capture cards now. And it did not have the metallic sound, according to the, like, three people watching. Oh, Discord does? Yeah, you can actually stream your capture cards now. Oh, that's cool. They finally added it, and it actually works really well. Oh, shit, nice. Alright, I'll have to, uh, try that. Because I actually toyed with the idea of some games that I finished on stream, streaming them in Discord on my off days to 100% them, like, Faith. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, they, uh, replaced the, um, uh... So they have, uh, when you hit, like, share your screen, they added a capture card section, which pops up with all of the, uh, video inputs from cameras, because capture cards just affect those cameras. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, because you can, you can actually already do that, but it mirrors the fucking video. Yeah, so they finally fixed it. You gotta get to get also stream an unmirrored webcam if you wanted to, for some reason. Just stream myself eating a bag of Doritos. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> like, eat such a, a stream. 
Oh, we converged on that poor bastard. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I will finally be able to stream myself eating hot chip and lie. <laughs> yeah, charge your phone as well. Oh, yeah. I'm not doing the twerk part, though. You guys can live without seeing that. <laughs> That poor fucking roller. <laughs> he just wanted to get away. There's something uniquely funny about just the errors on the screen in place of where everyone is supposed to be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll have to crack out, or crack out Vito Tube again. Oh, this better be fucking <laughs> fixed by Saturday. I, love, I, I do love the three errors. Oh, it's more than three. Oh, there's right, a bunch of them. We done? Yeah. Oh, yeah, by go. Friday, actually, because we're doing uh, Halo on Friday, but we're also doing Splatoon on Saturday. So it's both. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to join for uh, Saturday. Uh, oh, yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, yeah. I don't make people join if they can't. Other plans. Yeah, Senki's going to be with people who are cooler than I am, apparently. <laughs> gonna see the FNAF movie, maybe. I actually kind of want to see it. I don't know if it's gonna be good, but at least say the animatronics look really good, because they were done by Jim Henson's Creature Shot. Yeah. Every yeah, Friday comes first. Yeah, I know, it's just like, I kind of forgot what it was. Listen, I don't normally stream on Friday. Maybe by the way, I think I, I found the uh, CRT we were talking about. Uh, I'll dump the Etsy link to a listing for it in collab channel. Ooh, cup noodles. It's almost the exact same thing. Soy sauce ramen noodles. Ooh. Oh, one of those things. It's absolutely tiny. <laughs> <laughs> so, we used to use this TV as a uh, kind of a portable TV to have just a second CRT when traveling to... Uh, our grandmother's old house up in Michigan. And up there in Michigan is where I got the game Aliens vs. Predator Extinction, which is basically just a yeah. StarCraft clone. I played it on this fucking tiny-ass TV once, and then never again, because I couldn't <laughs> see it. I put it up on the stream <laughs> for you guys. This this is essentially the TV. God, it's such we'll a tiny fucking same. TV. It's so tiny. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely would not be useful for streaming, though, if it does not have stereo audio, though. Because that one... No, it absolutely did not. <laughs> no, it didn't. Yeah. She still uses it, only by be... the way. My grandma's weird. She yeah, uses it to watch VHS really tapes. Wanna... Yeah, because she, she doesn't she have any DVDs, just... I don't think. No, she does. She just doesn't buy know how to use a DVD player. player. Her store. But she has a VCR player. She also has a giant ass CRT with a built in VCR player. But no, she uses the tiny ass fucking thing. Well, why? <laughs> uh, welcome, my to our grandma. She makes no once sense. rolled down her window while driving a car to ask the nearby car what the red and blue colors on the air conditioner meant. Oh. Yeah. I see. Even though she already knew. She, because she'd been told like she before. Be well, she told me how they were. Caused the same problem to happen in her email every other week and calls my dad over who has to re-explain to her what she's doing that is making it happen every time because she cannot learn anything. She absolutely refuses to learn anything because she would rather other people do things for her. Even though simultaneously she refuses to ask for help because she'd rather do it herself. Well, that's annoying. That's yeah, her grandma. laptop that she uses, um, the only times it gets shut off is when our dad goes to her house to troubleshoot computer problems for her. She doesn't like logging in. Uh, so it, it will done. be on for months on end. Yeah, which is how you kill the processor. Yeah. Usually like all the computer like problems she has are solved by just turning the damn thing off and back on. Nice. 
Hey, what uh, Splatfest team are you guys on? Ah, uh, Skeleton. Good. The Skeleton appears. That was the one I was already planning on joining. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, we are going to end here. Thank you, guys. Um, yeah, fun for being here for a little bit. I'm just going to leave the call since the reactive isn't working anyways. <laughs> so. that makes yeah. Sense. Thank you guys for joining. I will see you guys on Saturday. See ya. See ya. Alright. Alright. I'm going to just hide all these right now so they're at least out of the way. Where's me? F fuck. There we go. Alright. So. That is it for streams for one day. Normally, I would take Friday and Thursday off. I don't know why I said Friday first. First. Whoops. But, uh, we're doing a bonus stream on Friday to finish off Halo 1, because we don't have enough time left for a full stream, but we also don't want to wait another week to start Halo 2. Or whatever. So we'll be finishing Halo 1 on Friday for a very short stream. Probably won't be more than an hour. And, uh, then on Saturday we'll be doing Splatoon 3. For the actual Splatfest, and Sunday will be more Parasite Eve. Depending on how well you drive. Yeah, see. So, it did not take me very many attempts to beat it originally. I don't remember uh, how many it took, but I seem to remember it didn't take me all that many. So I can absolutely do it. It's just we're going to be trying more than once. I cannot drive that damn thing to save my life. Alright. Oh, Sinful is still streaming. Okay, we're gonna send the love over to Sinful. I never get to read her. I think I'm muted. Yeah. Alright. Sinful is a good bean. Otherwise known as Screaming Doggo. We're gonna spread the love over to her. So I will see you guys Friday. Until then, if you wanna hang out after stream, I have a Discord. If you wanna keep up with my bullshit and other updates, I have a Twitter and a Blue Sky. And if you ever miss a stream, I have a VOD channel on YouTube. Our raid message will be Dapper Dragon Raid, as always. You can use whatever emotes you want to join in on this raid, as long as you copy the raid message. That is all I care about. And I will see you all on Friday. Alright. So like I said, we'll be raiding Sinful. Otherwise known as Screaming Doggo, I will see you all Friday. Good evening and good night. I am going to put a pizza puff in my mouth and forcefully shove it down my throat because I'm hungry. See ya.